when my father died, when daddy died, um, he died in Florida. You told the story of how he no, died? I didn't. Yeah. He, the they had gone. Attack. Yeah, he had a heart attack. But what happened was they had gone down to Florida that, and you had gotten them this uh, trip because your client was the ship. Yeah, uh, I, I represented the Prudential Grace Line, which had ships going down the coast. Right. That were mixed cargo passenger ships, a small group of passengers, American flag ships. And uh, I was a big shot. I was a lawyer for the, for the, uh, for the whole company. And I had my own law firm, but I was still the lawyer for the company. And so I got him a free ticket, he and Mama, to go down there on the ship. Right. So they went down, and they had this new little apartment they had bought. And uh, they were only there a week or something when uh, my father, it was Sunday morning, my father was about to entertain, they uh, had a, uh, a Dr. Soroff, who I think he was a writer, actually. Dr. Who? Soroff. Soroff? Soroff? Yeah. I remember and that. he was coming over to visit them. And so my father went to the bakery to get bagels or rolls or whatever, and he had a sudden heart attack and died. On the street within right. minutes, yeah. Right. What now, did. what I remember is when, when before this, he would say to me or say to people, I want to die on the subway. And people would say, why do you want to die on the subway? He said, because I'd still be going somewhere. I would still be alive and going somewhere. <laughs> All right. I never so, heard that. Oh, yeah. He yeah. always said that many times. So when he had this Plutzlin heart attack and died on the spot, I thought, felt good about that. I mean, I didn't feel, feel good that he had died at all. It was horrible. But, I mean, yeah. it was like, in a way, he didn't, he didn't have the bad thing that he didn't want. He had it the way he wanted it. But then you called me. Boots on, right. Of. But you had to fly down to Florida to help Mama. Oh, that was terrible. And you called me. I don't I know called if you, you called me. Uh, it was must have been a Sunday because they were waiting for Dr. Soroff to visit. So yeah. it was a Sunday. You called me and you said, tomorrow morning, you have to go to my office. And in my safe, and my secretary will help you get it, there's a document that Papa gave me. I told you. Yes, to, to go, go to the office because you were going to oh. Florida and get this oh, document. Will. And it was this will that he had, Savoa, that he had written out that we had to look at before when he died, as soon as he died. And what that was, and I've given this document actually to Gela. It's not his will. This was a thing that accompanied his will. Yes, it wasn't his legal it's not in the will, will, itself, will yeah. but it was a Jewish will in a way. And the first line of the instructions were uh, to my wife Leah, and it was all in Yiddish, to my wife Leah, first of all, you shouldn't be clogging and screaming and yelling. I forget that. I died. I lived a long, full life. I was old. I lived a long, full life. I did what I wanted to. Don't carry on. It's okay. And that was the first, right. And that was the first instruction. And then it was every step that what we had to do, we had to, there were five people, as I recall, or four people that what they should be called and told they should come and read different things. And each thing was written out in the thing, so in case they couldn't find it, he had to, to give to them. And, uh, and then what was to be written on his stone, which was uh, a text from Yermiohu. Yer I didn't know that. Yes, and it what was it that uh, you have put, and it was in Yiddish, but I don't know the Yiddish, uh, you have put the word in my mouth, and I didn't want to say it, but I had no choice that I, I, you forced me to say the word. No, it's not that, but it was something, something like, that. like that. And, and ah. uh, quote from, uh, it was from, from Jer prophets. Jeremiah, yeah. and who was the reluctant prophet. That was how he's known. Jeremiah is called the reluctant prophet. And, and that was the quote. I and it was, that. yes, that he felt somehow compelled to learn and think and take care of Yiddishkeit. And that, that was his, uh, he had to do it and he had no choice. And that was why he chose that. And then, uh, and then uh, I remember that I was put in charge of making sure that it was on the stone. And to my horror, after the stone was made, I had made a mistake. And yeah. one of the Isis, one, of the, one of the letters is wrong. Yeah. Oh, well. And I, it was the first time in my life I understood 
the horror of this phrase, it's written in stone. You know, it was really very upsetting. So I remember that. But, oh. Yeah, but I don't remember the exact quote. I guess I could find it. <laughs>